Hello and welcome back to Clash of Kings, a mod for Mod to Blade Warband. Now, I think we had a pretty good start, <clears throat> but this mod is difficult as all hell, so a good start just isn't going to be enough to quite cut it yet. We've got a long way to go. I can barely do damage to anybody. Any wonder. Ooh. Oh, hey, I've got a level. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, no, wrong. Inventory. Cause I've only got a rusty sword. I need to get a better sword. I got that sling. I don't know if I'm even going to use it. Um, oh, Brynn's got a level, actually. Let's just do a quick... Oh, so it gives you 12... I kind of... I don't want to get them all the 15 strength and get them enough power strikes so they can do damage as well. Because them getting kills gets them levels. Well, gets them levels quicker. <clears throat> and then his equipment's crap as well. He's just got a hatchet and... Some light robes. And we're not doing very well here in the whole equipment front. Got a couple of levies, men at arms, and a couple of crossbows. We're not really that strong. But yeah, we've got some broken men over here who are going to be way too strong, and they're following me already. We've got some raiders up above. <coughs> we do have a few peasants, but those raiders are going to be strong. And so I guess our only escapes out to the left. Also, these will be wide areas. I need to start exploring those a bit more. Because there's XP and gold to be found in those, so... That would be nice to get a hold of. <clears throat> but, yeah, let's go here and get some levies. Good soldiers, we get two. That's a good start. So, we're getting Westerlander levies from here, and they... Just come with a spear. Hang on, can I look at their equipment? Talk. Uh, let me see your equipment. <clears throat> yeah, he just has a pike and a hat and... Oh god, these guys are crap. Uh, tell me about yourself. Wow, they actually have 20 strength. Go them. No power strike and very little stats here. So that's nice. <coughs> oh yes, my own level. Um, see, I... Okay, so I've started trying to get that so I can do damage, but... There's this wee mechanic in this stumble. Athletics helps decrease that and helps you move faster. I want to get some points into that as well, but for now, if I can't kill anybody, I'm as good as dead. We will get one point into it. And actually, we'll just do this because we've got a one-handed weapon. And we need all the help we can get. <clears throat> okay. So they've moved closer. They're moving at 6.5. I'm doing... I don't know what. 7.8, good. They can't catch me. And... Alright, right, we'll avoid that one. We'll go up to Pete Land and get some levies. I kind of want to get about 30 troops. 30 to 40 troops. Okay, there's four. That's good. Cressy. Stony Sept's a nice place. I usually tend to spend a lot of time around here. It's a nice be sort of marketplace. Okay, good, we're up to 25 units now. Oh, hello. Losers! Oh, we could get them. <clears throat> Let's try it. Gotcha! Give our levy some XP. Let's get into the battle! I will get a renown of two for winning this battle. Yay! All right, come on, folks. Form up. There we go. I hate that we bug where the, the command box gets stuck up at the left. It's annoying. Also, has the mini map. <coughs> I could probably just run straight into them. They are only eleven looters. Where are they? I don't see them. I know I'm being very cautious, but this game punishes you a lot. Oh, hello. There they are. Damn, they are miles away. 
You guys got a shot yet? No, of course you don't. And that's bugged out again, whatever. <clears throat> Coming at ya. And jump. Okay, 15 damage. Even against looters, I need to do like 15 damage. Oh, 29. That was nice. And I didn't get him at all. Ooh, rock. <laughs> uh, that was mean. Alright, go infantry. Oh, shit, I missed. What I'm actually going to do is get off the horse. Because I get more kills if I'm on the horse, usually. And I need to get stuck in. I need to get some XP's for myself. Yeah, come here. Him with a sickle. Oh, here we go. No. No, let me hit him. Let me hit him. He's mine. No, he's not mine. Oh, sh come on. Oh, come on. Let me get a kill. Guys. Get out of here. Things I have to do to try to steal a kill. <laughs> I gotta get my guys to stop attacking. I need a better weapon. Okay. You got two renown for that. It's not too bad, I guess. Here we are, man. So what have we got? Nothing really worth upgrading, but they are only looters, so... I can't say I was expecting much. Whoops. But it gives me a couple of things to sell. <clears throat> okay, what do we got? Kingswood Outlaws, I think I'll avoid them. Oh no, they're coming back. Uh, let's get the Edgerton. I don't actually know how strong they are. I don't think I've ever actually really fought them. Hmm. Alright, let's head north. I want to go up to the Stony Sept, actually. So I'll head up this way. <coughs> So just do a quick save. Because things go badly, which they do in this mod pack. Pretty quickly, actually. Typically because I'm fast forwarding the time. Okay, there's 37. If I get at least another three. I'll stick with that. That should be good enough. There's three. That'll do it. There's 40. Some guys take it up here, but I do not have the gold for that. Damn it. <laughs> I'm stuck with levies. Into the marketplace. Let's just sell. We have 418 coins. Let's just sell all of this because it is not worth a damn thing. What I'll also do is, in case we're running out of bread, let's get some more cheap bread. Okay. Meet the Guildmaster, because meeting the Guildmaster also gives you gold. Or not gold, but XP. So that's good. Uh, tavern, see if there's any free companions I could grab. <clears throat> Who have we got? Sir Benis of Hollow Hill. You're an anointed knight. You are definitely not going to be free. 1,200. That's not bad, actually. It's good to at least talk to him to find out a southern man at arms, cell sword mounted archer, and. A couple of ladies of the night. We're not going to be talking to those. We've got more on it than that. Okay. So we got a couple of those white areas up here that I can go explore. There's a septry up here. I don't think I've ever been in one of those. Let's go have a look. Because we've got to explore the world we're in as well. It's not just about running around making gold and getting into fights. We gotta see what's around us. Oh, okay. Attack the Sceptre. New. No. You arrive at a remote Sceptre. The place is tranquil with a small sept and a cloister of rooms for the Asylum Brothers and the large tracts of land cultivated for the produce of food. It is night and it seems quiet. Oh, okay. It's nighttime. I don't think I can do anything while it's nighttime around here. <clears throat> so let's go check out the Pendrick Hills. It looks like a mine. We call it a mine. The hills are pockmarked with abandoned caves and old mine shafts. Okay, so it's an abandoned mine 
mining area. Explore again experience, I know. And Oh, there we go, straight off of the level. The mine appears to be sealed off, the entrance overgrown. So these must be some of the Lannister mines. And cobwebs gathering in the timber, boarding up the entrance. You know, the, the famous gold mines they've got. Mm, let me see what else. The huts and shelters of people that worked here. Well kept but abandoned. Looks like they've here recently. Perhaps they've left to find safety in one of the nearby castles. Okay, so with all the raiders, maybe it's not dried up, it's just... They don't feel safe. Hmm... Where does that? What do we got up here? Glad I can do this on the horse. I don't see much else up here. There's more down this way. That's a lot of cabbages. Can I take those cabbages? Those are good to sell. No? Okay. Oh, a watering hole. Let's go and have a look. I'm not gonna take the horse down, that's gonna be end badly. <coughs> Nope, nothing. Okay. Back on the horse. And nothing here. Ooh, okay. So in some of these places you also get a chest. Which is right here. An old chest lies half hidden in dust covering most of the area. Oh, the dust is covering most of the area. And we've got a rusty Lannister helmet. 700 gold. Might be worth it when I actually sell it, but hey, it's something. Alright, you know what? I think that's that place done. Um, What else have we got? So we got the farmstead. Let's go up and have a look at the farmstead. Visit, attack. Oh, it's, <clears throat> it's a trading area for food. Okay. Nun's Deep. It's another mine. By the looks, probably abandoned. You arrive at Nun's Deep. Oh, nothing about being deserted. Just more for XP. I know the drill. There we go. Appears to be abandoned. The entrance sealed and barred. A faint glimmer of gold in the. Oh, I got gold. And when you bend down the vessel, you see it's a small pile of golden coins. You see no reason not to claim it as your own. No reason whatsoever. I'm not a thief. Oh, hey, there's people here. Okay, so it's not so abandoned then. <clears throat> the prisoner inside the cage has a swollen look. Bumps and tiny dots scattered across his face. What's happened to this fella? Careful with this one. He's stark raving mad? Who is he? Fuck if I know. He kept stumbling out of the woods, raving about flesh and blood. Ooh, okay. Hi, Tom. What? Who are you? I'm Tom, and I'm not mad. Tell that guardsman I was just stung by a bee. Ha! <laughs> okay. So that explains the bumps. What? What are you doing? Bugger off. Oh, you're lovely. What? What's this place? It's a gold mine. What does it look like? Oh, you two are cheeky, aren't you? <clears throat> mine is boarded up. However, you can still hear the sound of pickaxes coming from within the mine. Oh, I've finished exploring, okay. But, why is there still, if it's barred up, why does it sound like there's people mining in there? That's confusing. Let's head over to Lannisport. The home of the Lannisport. Look at the big, the big lions outside Casterly Rock. Yeah, I've also got Tarback Hall over here to look at. And we got a level, right. Just doing everything I can at the minute to get XP, get some gold. Let's try and get started. It is hard to get set up in this game. <clears throat> I'm gonna get fundamentally changed in 6.2. You arrive at the ruins of Tarback Hall. The main tower is collapsed and the curtain wall is crumbling. The rest of the castle has been pulled down within the forest. Close by is retaking the area bit by bit. So 
Oh, what have we got? Oh, okay. It... I don't know, man. That's a hell of a hill to build it into. Like, I don't know if there was a wall there. People would just be able to look over and shoot down on you. <laughs> Get it? Oh, castle lies in ruin, and the evidence of its destruction is still visible. Close to the ruined gatehouse, you spot a glimmer of gold. As you closer, you see what appears to be an old cracked helmet spotted with rust. You tease. I want more money. Oh, speaking of money, chest. <clears throat> At another level. Um, let's get myself up to 15 strength as well. It's just a good round number. Got some tools, tin, iron. That'll do. Stuff to sell. Um, looks like the this must be the curtain wall. I don't know if there's much else here to... F oh, hello. You see the remains of a few people still scattered around the ruined house. It looks like the building collapsed on top of them. Oh, in the middle of the room you notice a faint glimmer of gold. Ooh. Hey. Anyway, we got 500 gold for that. Poor fellas. The house collapsed on them. But yeah, that's this bit explored. We're getting on Riley here, man. We're getting a nice bit of gold. And we'll head down to Lannis Port here as well. I'm sure there's another one, Castamere. Let's go up there and do that one first. Ooh, Ash of Greyjoy, the Iron Islanders are coming here now. That's not gonna go well for them. <clears throat> okay, what have we got? Okay, so we're not on our horse here. Gatehouse of the ruined castle is untouched, only the doors having been broken down from the outside. A few rusty storage are scattered, and a single large rat scurries from underneath the pile of dead leaves. Okay, so it sounds like this one got attacked. And flooded. The lower section appears to be. Yeah, clearly. <coughs> The other section of the castle appears to have been barred from the outside, trapping anyone who's left on the other side. Ooh, perhaps with no other way out. Oh, that was mean. There's a chest here. Nasal helmet for a thousand gold. Sweet, I'll take it. But yeah. That was mean. Poor people got trapped inside there. Lannisport. <clears throat> Lannisport and Castor Lyrog is the, the capital of the Lannisters. This is their hometown. Also where the gold mines are actually supposed to be, but I think that's what they said in the series. I hate the way this lags. This is just, this is always like this. This isn't just my PC. At least I think. Anytime I play this, it's happened. Yeah, so you get 400 gold. Wow, gold chalices. Yeah, what can I sell you? That and that. You only got 323. There we go. Wow, we're up to 2,000 gold now. Have a look at the tavern. Also, if you're doing any of this at nighttime, there's a chance you're going to get attacked by bandits. So be careful going to inns at nighttime. I don't typically pay attention to that. I just do it anyway, but I think for the time being, I can't really be fighting them. Yeah, what? Nothing really. Who are you? People call me Ruddy. Oh. Eh, King's Landing. Okay, so. Son of a whore, Tywin came and sacked the city. He told Eris he came as a friend. So this is the story of, of how the old mad king got beaten, I guess. Killed. What happens to the people who stayed loyal to the Targaryens? Well, they're out of a job. 
with our lives taken over by thieves and murderers. Bah. I have a great name for a guardsman. 2,500. No way. Lannisport Spearman. Two of you cost that much? Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> So what else have we got around here? Hmm, there's the daring down. See what? So another great way to make money in this mod, or another great way to make money in Westeros is trading. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna walk towards the salt pans. We're gonna buy us a whole bunch of salt. And we're going to try and flog it to some of the, the Westerlands here, I think. How am I doing for food? Four days left. Okay, it's not too bad. Level? No, I don't have a level. Although, Brynden does. I'm at your skills. Oh, nice. Two levels. Great. Seems to give you a decent weapon. Alright, reach levels. You can go to a crossbow. I'm gonna be a fan guard. I like those big two handers. Two of them, one of you. Okay. That'll hopefully make us a bit more formidable in our next fight. Let's head this way. Oh, what's this? Westerlander longbows. Ooh, and they are running from me, though. I'll never be able to catch them. I only move at 6.5 now, so. Would need to do something sneaky to get them. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Oh, at least I can outrun them. Still don't know if I can kill them. Look, they have hedge knights as freaking prisoners. How strong are they? Mm, I'm gonna get caught. Okay, time to find out. <clears throat> we, have, we do have twice their number. I mean, come on. <clears throat> but yeah, let's let's see how we do. All right, guys, form up. Let them come to us. They're on horses, so they're gonna split up. We do have the troop numbers. We just don't have the troop quality. <laughs> is the issue we're gonna have here. The only real good troop unit we have is not even myself. It's this guy. The Vanguard. Big two hander, he'll do damage. It's gonna be rough. <clears throat> See if I can do some damage to these horses. Getting them off their horses is something I would like to do. Ooh, that lance, that was close. That could have been the end of me right there. Okay, here we go. They're getting too close. Okay, there we go. Someone took down a horse. <clears throat> it's kind of all I'm focused on right now. Getting them off their horses. If we can get off them our horse. If we get them off their horses, we can might actually be able to win. I have no calf, or for myself, and I'm not very good. Here we go. At least I can do damage to the horses. Just actually kind of mean. I hope I realize what I'm talking about here. No horses were actually harmed in the filming of this episode. Uh, that sounds so bad. <clears throat> but we gotta get them decaved. Come on. Seriously. Archers. No, don't shoot me. And chop. No, 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 no. Chop. And come on. Okay, 
Okay, I think we're actually killing them all. Which is nice, because I'm shocked. But, why are you just standing there? Can I kill you? No. <laughs> I mean, if I'm hitting you for zero damage, I'm probably not killing you. 52 damage, though. Gotcha! I got a level, nice. And, whoop! I don't know, pick it off the easy ones. Really, I should leave them for my own guys. Yeah! But I need those XP's too. Right, you! Horse man! Oh, I actually get 70 damage to him. Get off the horse. My guys can't catch you. Gotcha! Now you're doomed. <clears throat> oh, nice, I got the kill. 200 XP for that. And we actually won! Wow! I'm shocked! Ha! Great! And they were renowned for that. Surprise, usually if they're following you, you're in trouble. I am not paying his wage, but I'll have a look at the armed villager. <clears throat> See if he has any upgrades. If not, I'll probably just release him. Ooh, okay, so there's a bit better armor. 23. No power draw. Um, no. Okay, all the rest of it's crap. Saying that, that does more damage than my sword, but its reach is absolute garbage. So not worth it. Okay. He has no upgrades. Ah, whatever, he'll die. Move him up to the top. Okay, so I like to just do two and one. For every two men at arms, I get a longbow. And those guys are just going to be crossbows. I don't really want the pikes. And you can be a vanguard. Great, there's another vanguard in our army. I have a level. So one more in S15 strength, and I'll start working on my other stuff. I need a lot of points into everything. Mm, what else? Trainer. Trainer would be nice, so I can get rid of these levies without actually having to fight them. We lost five dudes in that battle. That's not bad. <clears throat> oh, northerners. Everybody's down here at the minute. Another thing we could do, which I don't really like doing, is join an army. So we go up to talk to one of these guys. We ask, can we join your red and you? And they give us a position in their army, typically. You're right at the end of the kneeling man. Burn and attack. Being attacked by normal force. But typically... You start off as a levy. Your wages are crap, and you typically can't control anything. And typically trying to get into a fight is difficult because everybody's on horses, except for you. Yep, even though I have a horse, I still can't use it. So we're at the Inn of the Kneeling Man. The inn appears to be abandoned. It's locked and it's eerily silent. Okay. I've never seen this one before, I don't think. Like in previous playthroughs, I've seen some of them, but... Lying strewn across the upper stairs, a plethora of broken bottles, shards of glass. Oh, okay. It's very strange. Did I go down here? Let's check out these stairs. It's also why a good athletic skill would be nice, because then I could run around here a lot quicker. Yeah, I need beef. There's nothing up here, I'm just tabbing out. Nope, and I'm out of here. Okay, where are we? We're going this way. I'm watching out for bandits because there's a lot of them in this area. Oh, actually, let's get a couple more levies, get us back up to 40, that'll do. So, what have we got? We've got Lord Haraway's town. Let's go have a look at that. And that is a lot of Lannisters coming. <laughs> The river has overflown and flooded the town. Oh dear. 
Hmm. So the town's underwater. Let's look at the bit that's not underwater first. There's a tower out here. Is that worth exploring? No, it's not. Oh wow, it isn't half underwater. That's not just a river bursting at bank. It's banks. The town just looks like it's sunk. It lies close to the river known as the Trident. It appears the recent heavy downpours caused the river to overflow the banks, and the town has been flooded as a result. There appears to be no sign of the inhabitants. They probably move further inland until the river recedes. Oh, okay, so just temporarily out of their homes. You know, because of flooding. The wagon is filled with fruit and a sturdy looking chest. Oh, I'll be having that. Oh, hi, salt. Hmm. Oil, spices. Oh, nice. I'll take that. I got what I came for. Wow, this gets really freaking deep. I don't know how far the horse can go. Yeah, I'm not really getting any more interesting pop-ups. Okay, let's go. I got the money. Ooh, wow. Poor Carl. Carl Vance. He's getting hit by 200 or 320 freaking Lannisters. You arrive at the Crossroads Inn, burned and blackened. It seems the inn has been recently... Oh, okay, so it's the same as the last inn. Ooh, but this one looks a lot nastier. Hi. Oh, man. The corpse in the gibbet above your head appears to have been there for quite some time. Red droppings are everywhere. Small scraps of meat are still hanging on the corpse. The crows must have been at it. Anything out here? Nope. Now, this has been burned down. The burned down dwelling appears to have been destroyed recently with smoke and small fires still coming from the woodwork. It appears to be abandoned, locked, no noise. Surrounding areas trodden, evidence of a large gathering of men and horses. Oh, and I've successfully explored it. Great. No loot. How rude. Not a chest about, no? Damn it. I want the money as well as the XP. Okay, anyway. Off to the salt pans. What was that? Longbowman. And we just paid our wages. Great. So, actually, I'm broke again. Great. I'm trying to get up here. I am now poor. <clears throat> but they do have a ton of salt. Actually, it's all kind of expensive at the minute. But what we can do is sell our other wares. get rid of that. We'll hang on to the salt for now. It's free salt. We can sell it elsewhere for more. We can sell it for roughly about three to four hundred. Okay. On the bright side, I've got tons of gold again. I would like to get some freaking weapons, but it's all too expensive and I can't even use them. Ah, the joys. <clears throat> See what the tavern has. Also, I'm sorry for clearing my throat so much. I don't know what's going on with me right now. I thought I'm not coming down with something. Jasper Rivers, and you're gonna want money, right? Five hundred silver. Actually, five hundred silver is not bad. I don't really have it. Armed villagers. Yeah, I would like to join the melee, but I won't be able to do anything. <laughs> it's awkward. I hate that. Let's meet the guild master before I go. <clears throat> The other thing we could do is go north and get some furs to trade. Oh, look at that bread. Oh, hey, I can actually get that, but it won't give me 72 coins a week. It cost me 1,500. Let's have a look at some of these. That would cost me 2,500. It will get me 166 a week. Leather, 200 a week. It cost me 8,000. Wine, it cost me 5,000. get me 102. Eh, yeah, that's so not worth it. 
Tools from iron, 184 for 35. Actually, tools isn't bad. It's actually a lot of income for what you're spending. Velvet, you get 10,000, but you're probably 500 a week. See, that's the most expensive one, though. Sometimes isn't always worth it. 6,000, which isn't really giving you much. Okay. Definitely not going to get the Sorry. Definitely not going to be getting the bread. It's just not worth it. 72 a week. That'll not get you much. Hmm. Now. The question. Since we're at the crossroads in. Even though it's abandoned. Do we head back into the south? Try our luck with the Westerlanders? Or should we head up north? Go to White Harbor around that area. Get some furs to sell. Also might give us some more things to explore, maybe? I don't know. I mean, the wall is miles away. I would like to go up and have a look at the wall. But there is a quest that will take us up there later, so... We'll definitely get there. But, yeah, that is all for this episode. Thank you all very much for joining me. I hope it wasn't too bad. We're still getting set up. Until we get some money about us and some more equipment. and We're very limited on what we can do. But at least we have a wee bit of an army here, and that's not too bad. We'll get the skills going here and get them set up for next time. So we can just hop straight into it. That's him on 15, so what was his skill? Surgery. So we might bump up his surgery a bit more since he's the one benefiting us from that. Let's see what sort of skills we're missing entirely. And then get myself. So I'm up to 15 now as well, so that's nice. Power strike. Or one handed. So at least I'll be able to do a bit of damage now, hopefully. But, yeah. Alright, thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it a lot. I'll let you guys know whenever the new videos go up if you hit that subscribe and turn on the notifications. But, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought, and I will see you all again next time. Bye. Thank you.